I recently bought this dividing head off of eBay. Um, doesn't have, as far as I can tell, any maker's info on it. It seems old, uh, not real old, but, but used. Um, fairly well made. The only marking I can see is it says 7405 on there. And it's got the markings for angles. Um, it came with all three plates. Um, it did not come with a chuck or a center. Um, most of these, it's my understanding, most of those have, most of the dividing heads have a um, brown and sharp taper, but this one appears to be a Morse taper. This one's a Morse taper 2 from my lathe, and put that in there, locks in good, doesn't come out, doesn't wiggle, so it certainly seems like it's a Morse taper, not a... Um, not a brown and sharp taper. So that's one odd thing. Um, the thread here is also an oddball size. The ad said that it was inch and a quarter, six, um, but it's actually inch and a quarter, seven. So, if you can tell, but that fits in pretty nicely, but it's hard, to, probably hard to see on camera. But if you look at them in person, there is a space. They don't fit quite perfectly. And I was looking at it. I get this in even closer. It might be hard to tell. I think, yeah, you can see it in that shot. The angle of the thread is not the same left and right. So those, somebody did not have their threading tool perpendicular. If you check with the gauge, it fits in best when it's at a slight angle. If you turn it, it doesn't quite fit in. The spacing is correct, but they don't really fit in. You can see the gaps there, because this really wants to be rocked up. So, that's going to be a bit of a problem. So like I said, it didn't come with a chuck, and since I had good luck with that 6 inch Shars chuck I bought for the my little South Bend lathe, I decided to get another Shars product, another Shars chuck. Um, did debate whether or not I should, but I decided I'd, I'd go for it. So I bought this backing plate for the chuck, intending to bore it out and re-thread it so it would fit on there. Now, the question, to, question is, do I bore this out and re-thread it so it fits here and then, but when I cut the threads, try to match that weird angle of those threads because I could do that match that weird angle or I could turn this down and cut it those threads but that make, it's making the spindle a little bit small or I could take it apart and make a whole new spindle but then I have to bore a Morse taper or some sort of taper I would probably go with the Morse taper too because I've got a bunch of centers for that already so Anyways, that's where I'm where I'm at right now, deciding if I wanna how I wanna fix this. Yeah, other than that it seems well made, you know, there's very little backlash in it. Um it's got a direct indexing pin which you bring out. As far as I can tell, there's no good way of disengaging the worm drive. Um but maybe there is, and I just haven't figured it out yet. Um, it is missing the sector arms, but I'm planning on making a new set of those. I, I think I'm going to try casting them in bronze. Not that they need to be cast bronze. It could be aluminum or whatever else. Um, but um, I want to try making my own bronze out of the scrap copper I have. And so I figured this would be a good, fairly easy test project to work on. So it's going to try to make those. Um, so that's the dividing head. It seems like it's a pretty standard brown and sharp clone, um, or near clone. But having not seen an original brown and sharp, I'm not really quite sure. But. 